Happy to be joined in the Media Center by 2015 Many Life LPGA Classic Champion, Suzanne Pedersen. Suzanne, back in the winner's circle, how does it feel? No, it feels fantastic. Uh, I feel like I played a really good golf this week. Uh, I was pretty flawless through three rounds and uh, broke that record pretty quickly on the front I with a couple of bogeys. But I managed to get my uh, head together and uh, played some good golf, played aggressive. Uh, and uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a good day on the golf course. You mentioned that slow start. What was the key to turning that around and getting back on track and finishing with a victory? I made a good birdie on the eight, uh, backed it up with a tap-in birdie for, on nine, and uh, he had a great four and into 10, and kind of felt like that set the pace a little bit. And obviously, I eagled 12. Um, like it was a little bit of a momentum changer. and. Uh, um, I knew the scores were not as low as it has been early in the week, but um, I was still trying to get to my number. I didn't get there, but it was good enough. But um, good to see Brittany Lang play well. And um, I actually thought I was two or three clear standing on 17. And I was asked if I wanted to know where I was. And I said, no, we need a couple more birdies. And I think that kind of made 17 a little easier uh, because I thought I had much more of a cushion. Uh, I didn't know Brittany had finished so strong. so. Uh, very happy with uh, the way I played and the way I handled myself. And in the post-tournament on this trophy presentation, you brought up your team and how important they've been to you. For everyone in here, what have they meant to you? You know, it's a little bit of a new team for me. I uh, decided to change instructor uh, towards the end of last year. I went to see Butch and uh, I got to have only good things to say about Butch. He's been a great inspiration for me to take my game to a new level. Um, he definitely has the belief. Uh, he's not a sugar coater. Um, he gives me what I need at every single time. Um, and uh, what we've done so far has been good. And this is hopefully just a start. But it's nice to kind of see the results when you do changes. Um, obviously, I can feel the difference in what's happening and what's going on um, for the general crowd, the general golf um, public. I mean, it's they might not see what I feel. So, I mean, for me, it was a, it was a good move. It was uh, just in time to kind of uh, get going, and I'm excited to start playing well with uh, a lot of majors lined up for the summer. Uh, number 17, uh, you didn't know at the time that you were tied with Brittany because you didn't check the leaderboard, but that, that was the birdie that ended up winning you the tournament. Take us through that hole. What did you hit off the tee? And I mean, I knew the pin placement from uh, yesterday. I saw it when I walked off. Uh, it, was, uh, it was pointed to me by my caddy. Uh, it's, I guess it's one of those, if you hit a great shot, you're going to be close. Uh, if you hit a little bit of a wrong club, you could be easily too short or too long. But... I had a great little five iron. Uh, it was perfect for me, a little bit of wind off the right, and came out just exactly the way I anticipated it. And uh, like I said, I mean, had you told me I was all square with Brittany at that time, I might have uh, felt a bit more nervous on that putt, but uh, I felt like it was a very <laughs> huge relief because I thought it was two or three clear. There was a bit of a windless drought with European players in the recent past. Now it's one, two with Anna, and now you. Is that a bit of a trend that you're hoping to see continue yeah. leading into this summer? Obviously. Uh, we Europeans, we don't care much about the other uh, years in between the Solheims. We care more about the current year. Uh, we want to build form, obviously. I think I read that uh, we are super underdogs compared to like um, performance and uh, wins over the last year and a half. Uh, hopefully, we can do a little bit about it. Uh, but it's great for the... Europeans. I was glad to see Anna win uh, last week. I'm happy to back it up this week. And uh, uh, like I said, I mean, all the Europeans are starting to really play some good golf, uh, which is important for us to kind of build the confidence we need for our team. And uh, but there's a lot of golf to be played before we go to Germany. How do you typically perform heading off of wins? Obviously, next week's huge, and just into the stretch of the summer, is this exactly what you wanted to do? Peaking at the right time. Yeah, uh, hopefully I didn't peak one week too early. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is just a start. This is uh, what I've been working for. I'm starting to feel uh, the puzzle is kind of coming together. Um, this is the start of a big summer. Next week is obviously our second major of the year, but we also have some other great majors lined up not too far out. So um, 
there's a lot to be done and uh, you can't sit and enjoy this victory too long because already tomorrow you got to go out and do some preparation on a new course. And then you mentioned in your post-round speech about the fans and the great crowd support here. Could you kind of elaborate on that? Yeah, I've had some fantastic success here in uh, Canada. Uh, uh, but uh, I think we travel a lot around the world and every time we come to Canada, we feel a generous res um, response and support from the from the crowd and the public. And I think it's, it's fun for us players, but it also sets a great frame for a fantastic tournament. So... I think uh, I want to thank all the Canadian fans out here, and obviously now there's a huge championship just started yesterday with Canada winning on overtime on penalty. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of sports to be uh, seen and uh, experienced over the next couple of months. But uh, I'm happy to win this one and come back and kind of compete for another event in uh, Vancouver later th this year. Hi, this is Tiff Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more content on all things LPGA related, check out the new I'm going again. I'm just going to keep going. For more content on all things LPGA, check out the new LPGA.com. Yeah, I don't understand. Why is that so difficult? Hi, this is Tiff Joe. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For all For more content on all things LPGA, check out the new LPGA.com. <laughs>